Today, I want to talk about one of the greatest bass players of all time. Songwriter, producer, multi-instrumentalist extraordinaire, Marcus Miller. His list of collaborators is nothing short of historic. From Miles Davis, to David Sanborn, to Luther Vandross. Marcus is a legend. Back in 1984, still a very busy New York session musician, Marcus laid down tracks for 21-year-old singer-songwriter Julian Lennon, the son of the late John Lennon, and his debut album, Volat. That album produced a top 10 Billboard hit in 1985 called Too Late for Goodbyes, which has one of my favorite pop bass lines. The song is painfully simple. The main verse is made up of two triads, A and E minor, playing on offbeats, all over a very simple backbeat from the drums. Now listen to it when we add the bass. The movement of the bass line brings it to life. The sound is mostly an A dominant seven tonality with a lot of emphasis on the third note, the C sharp. It's a very melodic line that kind of echoes what the melody and the vocal is doing, but Marcus brings it to life with those little grace notes and how he shortens that G natural. And this is all with just his thumb. He actually doesn't pluck a note until we get to the chorus. Now check out the third verse. He actually reinvents the entire groove. He rests for an entire bar and a half and then comes back in on beats three and four with this much more rhythmic line that only uses two notes. At this point, he's also starting to loosen up more and add some fills, which really gives momentum to the entire track. By the way, the harmonica solo on this song was laid down by the great Toots Thielman, the same Toots Thielman that was prominently featured on Jaco Pastorius' Word of Mouth album. After the last chorus, he's not done. He gives us a third variation of the bass line over those same two chords. As a treat, we get an echo of the vocal scat on bass by way of overdub. This is a sneaky good bass line. So simple, but Marcus puts so much personality into it. If you're a beginner, try playing this line with your thumb to get used to the mechanics of playing and get a good feel and sound from the string. If you've been playing a while, see if you can master the little things that Marcus puts into this line to bring it to life. The grace notes, the short notes, the plucks, the slides. His choices are impeccable and completely in service to the music. I cannot imagine another bass player playing on this track, which ultimately proves how great he really is. So, Mr. Miller, thank you. And now, I gotta go practice.